Hi, I'm Jeff Rivera with Huffington Post. We had the opportunity to talk to Paul Iaconnell, the star of the new film, Bing. Let's check it out. We've seen 150 students today. They all swear that they have a special gift to offer the school. Do you have a special gift? Yes. Wow. <laughs> so, Paul Iaconnell, you are in the movie Fame, the movie Fame. What's it about? Fame is, is about the high school performing arts and it's, it's about a bunch of kids who are aspiring to be performers and it's, you know, it's a categorical, universal story of just being true to yourself and following your heart and, you know, and it's also a lot about dedication to your, to your craft. Uh, you know, anyone can, can want the dream, but, you know, it takes a lot of dedication, it takes hard work, it takes constitution, you know, and it takes luck. And, um, and not only that, but then, you know, fame, the idea of what fame is, you know, today in society is very different than what it was 20 years ago in 1980 when Alan Parker's first film came out. So our film sort of talks about what, what is fame and what is, you know, what, what it actually means to aspire to a greater art. So I know that you're actually a playwright, not only an actor, but an actual playwright. I mean, how did that whole thing come about? Um, I think like most people who have been in the business for a long time, you know, I think essentially what any good actor or director or writer is, is they're a storyteller, you know, they know how to tell a narrative. Um, and I think having been, having grown up in the business, so to say, and having worked with amazing playwrights and, and actors and directors, et cetera, et cetera, um, I think I sort of grew a good ear for, for what sounds good and you know in terms of dialogue and story structure and um, you know when I was a little kid I had my, my Batman action figures and I would you know present these epic you know Shakespearean stories almost you know of love and lust and you know and this and that and um, and I think you know from from my you know wacky imagination uh, you know came sort of a gift of, of storytelling and I think I think uh, you know acting and, and, and writing that's sort of the that's sort of the cross pollination point. So have you ever thought about being in a television show? Funny you should say that. Um, I just got picked up on, uh, on an MTV series called Hard Times that's directed and written by uh, David Katzenberg and Seth Graham Smith, two incredibly talented young guys, and the show is um, a little bit like the Wonder Years, but for the super bad generation. And so it's, it's you know, it's sort of chronicalizing the, you know, the unfortunate events of this, you know, this this kid, he's a loser, he's a loner that I play, he's the protagonist of the story. And so I have just one more question I want to ask you. So I know you're an avid writer, but I also understand you're an avid reader. What's one of your favorite books? I'll be honest, dude. I am I am so, like, high culture and low culture at the same time. Um, I'll, you know, either be reading, like, Malcolm, Mal Malcolm Gald uh, Gladwell's new book, or I'll be reading, like, DC Comics. I'm an avid comic book reader. Um, and I read a lot of plays. I, I'm, I'm constantly reading plays and sort of um, seeing, you know, what's, what's being new and what's, what's sort of on the upfront and whatnot. Thanks, Paul. Great meeting you. No problem. Absolutely. Okay, thanks, Paul.